This is Hard Island in New York City. For over a century, it served as the final resting place for people who were unidentified or unclaimed at the time of their death. More than one million people are buried on the island. The site is receiving renewed attention as coronavirus ravages New York, turning the city into one of America's largest epicenters. What we have seen is an increase in the number of people passing away overall. That there are people who pass away and there is no family member, no loved one, no friend, no one um, who we can find, who our Office of Medical Examiner can find, uh, who has a connection to that person and is going to take responsibility for their burial. City officials have said that unclaimed victims of COVID-19 would be buried on Hart Island, which is located about 11 miles from Manhattan in the Northeast Bronx. Unclaimed simply means that a family did not hire a private funeral director. It doesn't mean that the person was unwanted. It doesn't mean even that the person, that the family was impoverished. It just means that they didn't, for whatever reason, hire a private funeral director. The idea of mass burials, graves today, is so um, is so problematic because it's so rare. It would have been more common uh, in, in in earlier times. Hard Island is the largest mass grave in the U.S. At least 1,000 coffins are buried there per year. But data from the Department of Correction shows how the first three months of 2020 saw much higher burial numbers than the previous five years. From 2019 to 2020 alone, there was a 96% increase in burials for this period. Burials also now take place five days a week instead of one. This system of burials has been in place on Heart Island since 1872, and it has served the city through many epidemics where you have, you know, a scale of death that is uh, unprecedented to that gen- particular generation. In response to this severe uptick in deaths, the New York Medical Examiner's Office changed the waiting period for families to claim the bodies of loved ones from 30 days to 15. This may have impacted the increase in burials, but is also a sign of an overwhelmed system that cares for the dead. The thing is the rapidity of this particular uh, infectious disease. So you're seeing, you know, the complete inability of the private funeral industry to keep up. New York City has traditionally relied on prison labor, specifically inmates from Rikers, to bury the dead on Hard Island. You hear people who say, if you go to Hearts, you're going to be haunted the rest of your life. Saxon Palmer was a Rikers inmate for the last four months of 2019 and worked on Hard Island for most of that time. He always tried to bring honor to the people he buried. Most people wouldn't come back the next week. They just, they'd say, I'm, I can't do this. Tuesday and Wednesday was generally setting up the, the burial plots. And then Thursday and Friday, Thursday was adult burials and Friday was babies, stillborns. Yeah, I could just say it humbled me. It was a humbling experience in the best in the best way possible. I would jump at the the opportunity to be back on Hearts and do that kind of work again. New York State issued a stay-at-home order in late March, closing all non-essential businesses. But Rikers inmates continued to work on Hard Island. Drone video shows inmates dressed in white and orange on one of their last days of work on April 2nd. The city contracted a private landscaping company which took over burials on April 6. A spokesperson for the mayor pointed to a dwindling number of Rikers inmates as the reason for the change. The city also faced public outcry about inmates being exploited for cheap labor during the coronavirus pandemic. As COVID-19 deaths increase in places like New York, Detroit, and other large cities with the potential to become hotspots, officials will have to face how best to handle a rise in burials. We need to show people the bodies that we have this real problem here, that that this many people are being buried every single day in New York City. Uh, We need help. A huge number of people are dying. The images showing the reality in these cities are disturbing. But for some, burials on Hart Island are the best way to preserve dignity for the deceased. There's always been an effort to maintain the kind of decency and order of burial under normal circumstances, and that we're now more sensitive to maintaining a certain honor in death. 
We want for people to be able to stay connected and to know where your neighbor is buried and have the option to visit whenever you feel, because that's what make, is going to make us feel safe in the end, that, that the city has honored every life.